My name is Michelle Hombaker. Um, I'm originally from Edmonton, Alberta, but I've been in Montreal for six or seven years now. Um, I'm studying geography at McGill. Um, I'm in the arts program. Uh, my undergrad was actually in literature though, so this is a bit of a bit of a, a 180 for me. My research is focused on the Alberta beef industry and the social cultural dynamics around it. So really kind of what got me interested in this was understanding the social dynamics that underpin um, environmentally harmful industries. So kind of the trade-offs that exist between people needing jobs, but also these kinds of really significant environmental impacts as well as some of the social and labor concerns around them. And I saw that in the oil industry in Alberta, but then I also saw kind of mirror images of that in the beef industry. And those two things were kind of what drew me to this research topic. One big part of what I really like about McGill is that it's such an international um, and, and even just more broadly diverse community. There's a lot of really interesting people who are here so you're, you never stop meeting really cool people. <laughs> And then part of that is also that there's so much interesting work being done. Every time I talk to someone in a new, new department, I find out about a new initiative that's going on. Um, and it's, it can sometimes be a little bit overwhelming, but it's really an amazing opportunity to be on a campus that is as, as vibrant and exciting as McGill. And also, I just love being in Montreal. French is my second language, so it's fun to be able to practice it on the street and everything. Um, and it's, it's nice to see a different part of Canada as a person who's a Originally from Alberta, I really value being here and, and being on the other side of the country. I would say for me, the main highlight of this year has been to get to know the other scholars, especially in the leadership sessions. I think it's been really incredible to see how we all come from such different backgrounds and have different perspectives, both because of our, our community interests as well as our, our academic interests. And whenever we have a leadership session, people come up with, with ideas and opinions and perspectives that are so interesting and so fresh and just show me things that I never would have seen otherwise. The people who should apply for the scholarship are the ones who really want to see a better world or even a better community. I, I think there's so many different skills to work at and all of them have so much value. So I think I think it's two parts. I think one of one of one part is wanting to wanting to transform your part of the world for the better. And the other part of it is knowing that there's always room to grow. Because I think that's really what the scholarship gives you is this chance to push yourself, to embrace new opportunities and to learn new things. So I think it's wanting to gain those skills to make those transformations and do your part to make the world a better place.